So we're definitely in the Honda section because behind me is a 2015 Honda CRV Touring Edition. Touring Edition. So rear tailgate is power. It has the um, adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist system. So what this does is it takes a picture of the lane in front of you. And then if the vehicle starts to veer out of its lane, it'll beep. It'll um, also shake the steering wheel slightly. A light will show up and then it will actually steer you back into your lane. Yeah, it steers itself. So cool. And that's only on the CRV Touring. Let's see if um, let's see if we can take a drive in this. Why not? I mean, we're here. We might as well drive as many cars as we can. Let's see what we got. And not to forget the lane watch camera. The lane watch camera is a camera located on the right bottom of the right hand side mirror. And what that does is that shows as you guys can plainly see everything on my right hand side. You hit your turn signal or simply press the button. Camera goes on. You can see all the people that you should be avoiding right now. And they have a, uh, a new MDX. And being a Honda fan, of course, I'm an Acura fan. You have to be. And I've looked at this MDX before, and I'm always impressed with the technology gadgets that they put. I'm going to have you come in a little bit because I really want to show you the lack of gear shifter. Because there's no gear shifter anymore in the car. It is literally buttons. And it looks like this is really the way that things are going forward. So you want to go and drive, you simply press the D. To return to park, you simply press the P. Looking at this, I really hope that this is an indication of what the new pilot's going to be. The new pilot is going to be unveiled tomorrow, and it's going to be a huge, huge ordeal. The buzzword around here, everyone I meet, everyone I'm talking to, I was like, hey, I'm Honda Pro Jason. They're like, hey, the new pilot's coming out tomorrow. I'm like, I know, they're going to unveil it. It's going to be awesome. So it's a big buzz and a lot of excitement surrounding this event. Okay, so the 2016 MDX just went on sale earlier this month. And what better way to test it than to drive it? So let's drive it. Okay, so now we're inside the 2016 MDX. Now to start it, foot on the brake, start button. To put it in gear, simply press the D, S button. D is drive, S I'm guessing is sporty or sport, just like the Honda is. And we're engaged. We do not need the radio on for right now. This is really strange, not having a shifter here to put your hand by. But let's, um. Go for a ride. So we are inside McCormick Place. And we get, this is nice, it's all electronic. And we get to drive these cars. At an auto show, it doesn't get any more interactive than actually being able to drive the cars. I mean, this is interactive. It's not like a little video game. We're actually driving the car. This is. This is really, really cool and really different. Something I've never experienced before. Now the trick will be getting the car back into its spot with all the camera crews and everybody around. But let me tell you, driving this car up to about 15 miles an hour, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's the most amazing SUV I've ever driven at 15 miles an hour. And reverse again, you simply press the R. You simply pull back on this button right next to the R. And all your backup cameras show up. And when you're done, you simply press the P button. The car is now in park. And you're done. First first test drive of the 2016 MDX completed.